Hello, potato. It's been a while, but as you can tell from the bowl and the milk, it is once again breakfast time. And today's item is something I didn't know existed until I saw it on the shelf. I hadn't seen any like news articles about it, and it is Kellogg's collaboration with Glad together with Pride heart-shaped cereal. Now, I try not to get too political on this channel. I think my political beliefs are not too subtle, but I try not to be overt. And you know what? This isn't political. So uh, we'll just leave that at that. What we have here is a cereal put out for Pride Month. Yep, it's another Pride video, probably the last one. I hadn't planned on doing this one, but again, I saw this on the shelf. I'm like, how can I not? It's a berry flavored cereal with other natural flavors. I see we have all the little Kellogg's mascots on here. Mini Wheats, Apple Jacks, Tony the Tiger, the Raisin Bran Sun, Snap, Crackle and Pop, the Toucan, which is probably the most appropriate because I suspect these are really just gonna taste like Fruit Loops. We got Diggum, we got the Corn Flakes Rooster, who I'm sure has a name, but I don't know what it is. What we got on here? So calorie wise, it's 130 calories before you add the milk three quarter cup of skim milk. So more than that, because I'm not using skim. I use, I use, I use 1% if you're interested. And uh, let's see what we got in here. Of course, I mean, it's still, regardless of, of uh, what you, you put on the box, it's still a sugary cereal, right? Let's look at sodium. I always look at sodium. Do I, have, I don't even see sodium listed on there, which makes sense at cereal. How salty could it possibly be? Two grams of protein though, so there's that. Boxes are not for gender, style, interests, love. Boxes are for cereal, not people. Kellogg's Together with Pride cereal is part of our long-standing contribution to GLAD's media advocacy work, supporting youth against bullying and accelerating acceptance of the LGBTQ plus community. Leave boxes for cereal and let people be who they're meant to be. And of course, if you buy this and scan the little QR code and your receipt, they donate $3 to GLAD. So that's nice. I, I don't know that I did that though, so I need to go find my receipt for this. I think we still have it. Too amazing to put into a box. He, him, she, her, they, them, or add your own pronouns because boxes are for cereal, not people. Are they trying a little too hard here? As a heterosexual, gender typical man, that's not for me to say, but I definitely can see there being discussions about rainbow capitalism, particularly with something like this. But again, they're working with Glad, so let's glad's an issue, I think this is probably okay. The question is though, how does it taste? Because I'm sure there are some people who are going to buy these and put them on the shelf because, uh, you know, it's inclusivity is nice. I mean, I'm sure, I, I don't know, being, being a white male, I really don't know what it's like to not be targeted by advertisers. So I can't say how it feels to see something like this on the shelf, so I won't try. Instead, I will open it up and see what it's like. Let's see. Lift here to open. Lift here to open your heart. That's that's kind of sweet. Sell by is next April. What do we have in here? I was kind of honestly worried at first when I saw this. Like, you know, with the name together, it would just be a uh, like all the Kellogg cereals mixed together. Cause that's, that's how uncreative my mind is. That's where I go immediately. It's like, especially cause I could see from a distance, it looked like Fruit Loops on the box. Like, are they just gonna have like bits of every cereal in there? I mean, that, I mean, I'm a cereal mixer. Don't, don't get me wrong. I am a cereal mixer. I will frequently mix like my Count Chocula or Crave or my Peeps cereal with something less sweet, like a Grape Nuts or a Cheerios. So then just you know, to, to even that sweetness out a little bit. But yeah, that's all they've done. They've actually done a cereal specifically for Pride. And again, I suspect it's probably Fruit Loops, which means that they probably, the colors and nothing to do with the flavors. They just made Fruit Loops and bent them up a little bit. That smells fruity. Mm, they might actually be different. That Those two smell different to me. That one smells a lot stronger than the other two. Let's, uh, let's try them. Just kind of a generic fruity berry flavor. Tastes about the same. Let's try this one. And that one might be a little different, but I mean, they, I can't, I can't say like it's grape and strawberry. It's just, you know, fruity kind of berry flavor. 
let's see how it's it's honestly i would expect these to be a little a little more vibrant than they are i'm surprised at how uh kind of washed out the coloring there is and i've also realized i never turned on the rest of the lights let's fix that there we go. That's better. I don't think those lights even show up on camera, do they? All right. So let's uh, let's add some milk and give it a try. Regardless whether it tastes good or not, I I, I think inclusivity is never a bad thing. So even if it tastes awful, it still sparkles on it too a little bit little confetti bits in it. I still think, I, I think it's good that they're at least, they're trying. You know what? Even if you don't succeed, trying is better than not trying. All right. Let's get a good spoonful here. Oh, these are made of corn, aren't they? That's like the first thing I taste. Yep. Corn flour blend. Kind of just tastes like any fruity cereal. I'm gonna say, I'll be honest, it's been a while since I've had any Fruit Loops, but I wanna say it's not as flavorful as Fruit Loops. I don't think it's as strongly flavored. I can tell, definitely tell that it's made from corn. And it's sweet, but it's not overpoweringly sweet, which is nice. But I don't really get that much of the fruity flavor. Yeah, I'm gonna say, a slightly less flavorful version of Fruit Loops. So not exactly like Fruit Loops, I don't, based on my recollection, but not as strongly flavored. Not bad though. Maybe made more with adults in mind, they've not made it as sweet, because I've heard, and I mean, personally, it's kind of my experience, as you get older, you start to crave sweet stuff a little bit less. And uh, Honestly, yeah, that's, that's been my experience. I've, I much prefer savory things to sweet things now. As when I was a little kid, I definitely would have wanted sweet all the time. Sweet all the time, always sweet, sweet all the time. This is not bad. This is not as overpoweringly sweet as a lot of things I've tried on this channel. It's not bad. It's a perfectly acceptable cereal. I wouldn't need to mix it with anything to, to numb the sweetness down a little bit. Yeah, not bad. It's not great, but it's for a good cause and inclusivity. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm a little preachy there, so I'll just, I'll just stop. This is a decent cereal. It's not bad. The box will definitely get finished. I don't eat cereal that often anymore, but this will get finished. And uh, yeah, not bad. I have no regrets here. So if you found this all interesting or entertaining, if you did, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to say nasty things about inclusivity or who people are or who they love, feel free to take those comments somewhere else. But all the same, I do thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.